Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. I want to do a quick review today on the Bushnell 650 lumens Pro flashlight and the Rayovac Workhorse Pro 300 lumens. Now I've been using these uh, Rayovacs for some time now and really like these lights. They were retailing when I first started looking at them around $20 if I remember right. Then they dropped down to $15. I picked up another one when they did that and then they put them down around $10. Home Depot carries them. They have a couple different Rayovac lines, but this one at a $10 price point, I feel right now maybe one of the best deals in a cheap flashlight that's out there. If any of you have another idea or have seen something cheaper or you think would take this on, let me know because I'd love to see it. But this light is drop tested for 30 feet. It's got a 300 lumen setting and then a 70 lumens lower setting. The beam throw is put at 161 meters. I've done some testing outside here tonight where I did comparisons between these two lights so that you can see for yourself and make your own decision if you are looking for a light. It's got a very nice spot to it, not so much flood, really intense 300 lumens beam. I picked up this bush now a little while back. It is one badass looking light. It's got very aggressive tactical features on it, the front edge is serrated, you know, in the package it just, it looks like a tank. And the back part looks like it could do some serious damage in a fight. The tailpiece has like heavy serrations on it, it's a super cool looking light. Downside to that is, is I find it feels a little rough in my hand. You kind of feel all the sharp edges on it when you're holding it. Price point on this is $40. So. I've got a light here that's going for $10, and I've got a light here that's going for $40. This is rated at $650, this is rated at $300. This one uses the lithium batteries, uh, the CR17345s. It's like the ones they use for high draw items like cameras. It's a little bit more expensive battery, and not always readily available. Calling attention to that because this one uses double A's, something that's a very readily available battery and not very expensive. You can buy those in bulk. The run times on their high beams are around the same. This one has a two hour run time on high beam and the Rayovac has a two hour run time on high beam. Now I'm going to cut in and put the footage in here and I, I'm talking during a little bit. I'll tell you each light as it comes up and then you can kind of see how they function. I've got a couple different uh, scenes I did. One on a road, one in a yard, one against a tree line. I just wanted to show you what each one looks like. The Bushnell NDN, I think, edges out the Rayovac. It's got a really nice bright beam to it. The illumination on it's a little bit wider. But the difference here, $10 versus $40, a light that doesn't scuff up your hand or isn't going to chew up your pocket if you have it in it, this one, there's no aggressiveness to it as far as this thing cutting into anything. It's got rubber on either end of it or some sort of a plastic or rubberized padding on either end of it. The switch feels nice. They're both tacticals. They both have the switches in the back. The Bushnell does have a lockout, which is kind of cool. You just slide it to one side and that locks it out. You can't turn the light on. You slide it back and then the light comes back on again. Now the Bushnell has a strobe feature and they've got something where they call it like an intelligent button or whatever and you're supposed to be able to do like the half depresses. Sort of similar to what I was doing on that Olight in that review video I did. Well the Olight, it worked. On the Bushnell, I can't make it work. I, I try to do their half depress, it doesn't do what I want it to do. So I sort of feel like they need to do a little bit of work on that. The button's not easy to use to move between the light styles. Yes, it, it's called the momentary on switch with intelligence. Let's just put it this way. I didn't find it easy to use. That could say something about my intelligence. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to cut over the footage and then uh, wrap the video up. But I uh, just wanted to call attention to these two lights. I like both of them. But for me, I kind of feel like the Rayovac edges out the Bushnell, for one, because of the batteries, and then how close the, I felt the beams were. And for what you're paying for each one. If they drop the price point on this a little bit, this is a great light. If you see this going for in the $20 range, you see these go on sale or something, maybe around Black Friday here coming up, or if you know they start clearing them out and you can pick one of these up, 
I jump on it. The forty dollar price point, you know, that's your call. It, it's not. I don't think it's a bad light, but you know, keep in mind, like I said, about the batteries. Here we have the Bushnell six hundred and fifty lumens. That's a nice light. It's got a nice beam to it. Now I want to show you the Rayovac 300 lumen. We're going to bring in the Bushnell. Bushnell's coming up the left side, Rayovac's up the right. Move them in together. I'm moving the Bushnell around, moving the Rayovac around. Rayovac. Bushnell. Alright, I got a distant tree line out there. That's the Bushnell. Oh, I got eyes over there. Oh, whatever it was, it got smart and boogied out of here. Alright, so that's the Bushnell. It's got two settings. It's a low setting. And then it's got a strobe. Strobe's at 650 as well. Bushnell. Rayovac coming in on the left side. We're going to bring the two of them together. Moving the Rayovac around. I think I can see it moving within the Bushnell beam. I'll bring the Bushnell in. I got to tell you, up close, these are almost identical. Rayovac on the left, Bushnell on the right. Moving them out, moving them out. Even on that tree line, the Rayovac is doing as good a job as, ooh, there's something there. I couldn't tell if that was a deer or a coyote. There's a big one out here, and they say he's not acting afraid of humans. This is the Bushnell coming up against the fence line, and here comes the Rayovac. What I'm seeing, and I saw this on the road, it looks like the Bushnell has more illumination, it's got more flood in with the spot. The Rayovax more spot. Bushnell, Rayovac. Rayovac, Bushnell. So Rayovac on the left, Bushnell on the right. Here's a close up of the Bushnell. See that back? It's just a badass looking light. Here's the Rayovac. You can see the padding on either end, the rubberized padding. I now have several of these, and I'm not disappointed in any of them yet. As always, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.